Hello everybody. We need to talk about this 1212 Sagittarius new moon portal that is happening on December 12th. This is one of the most powerful portals of the year and it's going to go from December 12th through January 1st. And during that time frame, you are going to experience deep spiritual closure. So look at yourself between December 12th and January 1st as though you are shedding a skin, an old version of you, allowing for a brand new version of you to emerge in 2024. You are going to be experiencing a lot of different emotions and a lot of memories of the past because the day after the 1212 new moon and portal opening, we have Mercury going retrograde in Capricorn. And this will be the last retrograde for 2023. And, you know, Capricorn is 10th house energy, which is our successes, our accomplishments. So where you have been experiencing blocks in success, in manifestation, you're going to be able to revisit your past and understand what truly is blocking you, all right? And through this retrograde, Mercury will move into Sagittarius on the 23rd of December. And that just coincides with the Sagittarius new moon energy that's happening with the portal opening, okay? And when Mercury goes into Sagittarius, that brings about the great spiritual epiphanies understandings, healings, soul activation, spiritual awakening, okay? And Mercury will remain retrograde moving backwards through Sagittarius until January 1st when Mercury returns direct and that's when the portal closes, okay? So it is truly a process of shedding skin so that you can have that spiritual closure you need. And Mercury retrograde is always about revisiting the past, unfinished business, unfinished lessons. So as I mentioned earlier, you are gonna notice that you are just randomly thinking about different situations, events, and people of the past. All of that's bubbling up from the depth of you. And the reason for that is because it's time to release any negative energy surrounding past people, past situations, past circumstances. This portal offers healing in such a powerful way because there's so much Sagittarius energy going on here. Um, the sun is gonna be in Sagittarius when this portal happens. We'll be having a new moon in Sagittarius on the day of the portal, okay? Then we will, and we have Mars currently in Sagittarius. Then we will have Mercury retrograding back into Sagittarius on the 23rd. And then on the 29th, Venus is gonna move out of Scorpio into Sagittarius and Sagittarius being the energy of higher spirituality, higher learning, higher wisdom, and deep, deep soul healing. There is so much healing that is being offered at this time. I highly, highly recommend you do meditations. Look up the different meanings of the nine different esophageo frequencies and see which one aligns to the healing and release that you're looking for right now. And on that 1212 new moon portal, do a deep meditation with those frequencies or just start sleeping with those frequencies playing all night long while you rest, while you regenerate, okay? From December 12th through January 1st, listen to those frequencies there. You can find them on YouTube. There's a ton of them, so don't worry about having to buy anything you don't need to. Just do some research which frequency is best for the healing that you need right now and start immersing yourself in that frequency. And then on 1212 Portal, you know, find a meditation about healing and release and participate in that to really open you up to receive all of these energies from the portal. Venus being in the sign of Scorpio causes us to face our emotional shadow within, 
all the things that need to be addressed. So everything is lined up for us astrologically to do a deep soul cleanse and really heal ourselves, shed that skin of the past because on the other side of this, profound spiritual awakenings are taking place and you're going to realize that you're starting to reach for new things, that there's new beliefs coming into consciousness, that you're shifting in emotion about the past, the present, what could be in the future. You are going to notice a change within yourself and that's that portal energy doing its job for you. So between December 12th and January 1st, very important to face the shadow within fear nothing that bubbles up know that you are bigger know that you are stronger than it and Sagittarius you know Chiron the wounded healer you are about to grow in emotional strength and spiritual strength transmuting pain from your past okay this runs very deep and just depending on how spiritually based you are, the deeper you are going to experience the energy of these portals, of the, sorry, of this portal. And some of you, this portal is awakening a spiritual gift within you, okay? Or reminding you of a gift, talent, and ability that you have. It's time to focus on whatever is surfacing, okay? Whether you're realizing that wow I'm really I'm really picking up on some things my intuition is strong out of nowhere focus in on that you've received an activation okay um, if you really start thinking about something that you're good at just out of nowhere and you're like I wonder if I could do something with this that is spirit saying yes the time is now with this portal also there is a very large soul cycle that is completing some of you this could be over the last year some of you this could represent a five-year cycle some of you a 10-year cycle and some of you even a 20-year cycle you are all on you know different soul journeys this lifetime and you are all at different points of those journeys but there is a soul cycle ending regardless of where you are at on your journey and the timing of how long you've been in this cycle will be different but you're going to notice that too where you have felt very stuck no more you're seeing the passageway you're going to have the breakthrough and for my Sagittarius suns, Sagittarius moons, this is going to be even more potent for you guys and for everybody. Look at your natal chart and see where, you know, your Sagittarius placement is within your chart. Which house does Sagittarius occupy? Because that's where you're going to experience this portal energy the most. And then if you have other uh, placements, in that house like you know um, Venus Mars Jupiter any placement also in that Sagittarius energy at the time of your birth that only increases the potency okay we're just um, barely starting to come out of retrograde season and um, these last six months have really been about releasing the past releasing the past releasing the past and this 1212 new moon portal is the big boost to complete that process because there is all sorts of new energy and light codes coming online in 2024 and you've got to kind of look at this portal as your upgrade to the new upgraded energies of 2024 and where you have been blocked in success in manifestation this retrograde with mercury is clearing that energy so that you can finally come into your success come into your manifestation a lot of blocks and restrictions are going to be removed and you're going to feel lighter you're going to feel more optimistic you're going to have more belief in yourself in the future in humanity there is a big big shift not just taking place individually 
but collectively with this portal. Like I said, you know, this might be the most potent portal of 2023. And it comes after, you know, all the eclipses. Um, I think just uh, there's, I think there's just two planets retrograde still. Um, I can't quite remember. I know there's two, but they'll, they'll be going direct uh, at the end of December. And then I think the last one in the first part of January. So this is coming after all of that. It's time for a new energy. It's time for a new scene. It's time for a new environment. It's time for new connections, new ideas, new dreams, new paths, new ways of going about doing things. The old is gone. It's being buried in 2023 so that 2024 can hand you all things new. And this portal is your wormhole from now to then. And so focus on healing and balancing your energy. Anything that's being dredged up from the past within you, allow it to surface. Sit with it. Ask your soul, what is this trying to tell me? What is left with this energy? And then choose the medicine. I choose to heal. I choose to release. I choose to evolve. I choose to expand. I receive all of these energies of the 1212 portal to activate me and evolve me. Oh, there is just, I can't even properly articulate the way I feel about this. It's a deeply spiritual time. And on top of that, we, we have the winter solstice, the Yule, right in the middle of this on December 21st which is the shortest day of the year and the longest night of the year. And from there, after the longest night, our days start growing longer once more. So we are waning down from the 12th to the 21st of daylight, going into the shadow. And then the 21st marks the turnaround of the energy where the days are becoming longer once more. That means we are expanding in our light ever more each day, leading us into 2024. And there's something in January where you're really just gonna notice things have changed. You have shifted, all right? So those are very important messages to take into heart about this 1212 Sagittarius New Moon Portal, all the astrology associated and what it means and utilize it to your advantage. Take care.